Was there ever a time in your life when you wanted something really badly? I mean, so badly that it infiltrated your dreams? Let me tell you about Avali, an adult learner. She was accepted into a for-profit nursing college, falling into a major that she was told would bring economic security. All was going really well until that one class that she simply could not pass, and it was devastating. Realizing she'd shaped her entire future around someone else's dream, she was lost. There were other options out there for her, but she did not know what they were. What if this had been a different story? I work on behalf of nearly one million individuals who want something so badly, they're willing to work extra hard to get it, no matter even if that pathway to it is unclear. For these individuals, that dream is a college degree. And those I'm referring to are college transfer students. As the executive director of the National Institute for the Study of Transfer Students, I've learned a little bit about these folks over time. First, they're motivated scholars, already engaged in higher education who do not need to be convinced of the value of a college degree. They're committed to their families, they're committed to their jobs and their communities, and they're juggling a lot to make it all work. They're creative problem solvers, bringing a diverse opinion, cultures, and backgrounds into the classroom. These are the individuals we want running and guiding our country. But without our attention, transfer students run the risk of having their dreams deferred or altogether derailed. A common notion is that a college student will start at one institution and stay there until they graduate. But 38% of all students in U.S. colleges and universities are transfer students. And at any given time on a college campus, half of the student body has either come in from somewhere else, will transfer out to another institution, or both before graduating. A majority of the low-income first-generation and BIPOC students start at two-year or community colleges, including 50% of all Latinx and Native American students and 40% of all Black students. Without a smooth pathway to a bachelor's degree, it's too easy for these students to become invisible and to lose their way in the complexities of transfer. We simply cannot leave these students behind to suffer the negative consequences for themselves, their families, and their communities. Transfer patterns typically look like this, a little chaotic, but wholly representative of how students are going to school here, in this case, in the state of Georgia. Students are moving between all types of institutions, two-year, four-year, public, private, brick and mortar, online. And what's prompting all of this movement? For some, it was always the plan to start at a two-year institution and move then to a four-year to complete their bachelor's degree others encountered unplanned transfers. For example, the college freshman who's attending their dream school only to get called home to care for a sick family member. Or an upperclassman transferring to escape the trauma of a sexual assault. An entire academic program, students who've been phased out because their program's now being ended at their institution. And then those students who just simply made the wrong college choice. There's no denying it. Mobility is reality for today's college students. And transfer is a critical mechanism for closing those racially-based degree attainment and income gaps for our most underserved populations. Let's face it. Higher education was designed to serve well-resourced students coming directly from college. But that's not today's world. It's time for higher education to expand and adapt to include these mobile learners, their families, while also focusing on first time in college students. It's important for us to set aside our current views and embrace transfer as a viable and natural pathway to a college degree. Families, community-based organizations, school counselors need to be talking about transfer early and often. This encourages students to think about the entirety of their college career and to think big. It also destigmatizes transfer, minimizing students' feelings of failure and families' disappointment should an unplanned transfer occur. 
colleges and universities must look at the natural churn of their enrollment patterns and use that information to determine how students are moving in and out from their institutions. And to truly normalize transfer, we need to challenge the notion that colleges and universities are destinations in and of themselves, and rather see them as just part of the, the, the higher education landscape, where students move purposefully in and between institutions in pursuit of degree and goal acquisition. It's also really important that as you think about what happens next, we need to challenge the notion of the lack of transfer outcome data that's used to determine how public institutions are funding, get funding from their states, and then also how institutions are ranked nationally. When you do not look at multiple ways of going to college and multiple pathways, it leads to that lack of prioritization for transfer, and it undercuts the importance of educating students at all phases of their journeys. We also must look at erasing the structural inequities that disadvantage transfer students, including financial aid, credit transfer, and also access to meaningful educational opportunities. Lack of finances is one of the primary reasons that community college students choose not to transfer. And it's not uncommon for institutions to give the majority of their financial aid to first-time in college students, not transfers. The $25,000 honors student package of aid given to a high school senior becomes a $1,200 scholarship. Just one year later, when the student applies as a transfer despite their 4.0 GPA, when we don't have dedicated transfer scholarships and financial aid, students are, are forced to choose between um, ach achieving a degree or paying rent. In that scenario, the $20 an hour warehouse job is an appealing alternative to college. Even though we know ma no matter how you parse the data, over time, a college degree leads to more economic mobility. The way transfer credits are transferred in and applied to a degree also influences students' uh, momentum towards degree completion. Faculty members are often the gatekeepers and exercise a preference for classes that are taken in-house. When Emily, who transferred between states, first contemplated having to retake classes because she, those credits wouldn't transfer, she was mortified and believed it might be better to just drop out of school altogether because the thought of having wasted time and hard-earned money was too much for her to bear. She actually considered quitting school, not because of something she could control, but because of a system that was not designed to support her way of attending college. Research tells us that access to high-impact practices like study abroad, undergraduate research, honors programs lead to more meaningful college experiences. But those types of opportunities are rarely afforded transfer students. All it takes is one faculty member, one staff member to invite transfer students into those opportunities for a whole host of learning to be unlocked. Creating conditions for successful transfer requires intentional partnership. Northern Virginia Community College and George, George Mason University set the standard for that collaboration with advance, an award-winning dual enrollment transfer program where their students start at NOVA, earn their associate's degree, and then seamlessly transfer credits towards a bachelor's degree at Mason. What a game changer for many low-income first-generation students. Likewise, the Starbucks College Achievement Plan, a first-of-its-kind partnership between Starbucks and Arizona State University, provides no-obligation enrollment coaching to students contemplating transferring into their program. When we truly invest in transfer, we level the playing field for students moving towards their dream of a college degree. And when it all comes together in the right way, it is glorious. That brings us back to Avali. Discouraged and unsure of where to turn, she found herself in the advising office at the University of North Georgia's Gainesville campus. 
It was a gamble to show up without an appointment, but she knew it was time to get back into the game and tackle the challenges of college. There she met an amazing staff member who talked with her for nearly two hours. During that time, she felt not only heard, but listened to and got the information that she needed to get back in the game. Avali uses that motivation now from that fateful encounter in her role as a peer transfer coach. When we focus on getting all talented students across the higher education finish line, we strengthen the whole. Join me in envisioning a world where today's transfer students are giving equitable and equal in access to higher education, not only opportunities, but more importantly, outcomes. In this world, students move between institutions smoothly to create those educational pathways most useful to them. Their journeys are free of roadblocks and fueled by higher education's commitment, their collective commitment to their students' success. The result is a more diverse, self-sufficient, and prosperous society filled with individuals who are problem solvers, grand thinkers, ready to take on the challenges of tomorrow. And this is what motivates me, to do the work to challenge the status quo. So the Avalis of the world have a fighting chance to reach their goals and to grab that dream. And when they do, all I can say is watch out world, here they come. Thank you. Thank you.